What's up, guys? It's your girl, Dedicated Deep, and welcome back to another set of work from home jobs. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys inside. Okay, what's up, guys? Now, today we're going to go over the application process. Now, I started this channel basically to help people find work from home jobs and to help navigate people through trying to find work from home jobs. Now, I feel like where I've been lacking and what I should start having more of on my channel is basically showing you guys through the whole work from home process no matter if it's the application process onboarding um what you guys need to do just to help navigate your days make your productivity a little bit better even things when it comes to your at home lifestyle that you have to deal with behind the scenes and so that's what i am going to start throwing in weekly for you guys also because it's not all about just trying to find that work from home job is about helping you guys through your journey no matter where you at if you have been working from home for a while i just want to be there because i've worked from home for over 20 plus years and i know that there are so many things that you can go through as a person just trying to navigate and trying to work from home and so i want to take my experience and the things that i've went through and basically the things that i've seen and the things that i've heard to help you guys out so today we are going to go over the application process now this is everything that could come to my mind at the time but i will come back for you guys if i think about more because i just want to be that cushion and i just want to be here to help you guys out so the application process now sometimes there are there is prep work that goes into filling out any application for any job let alone work from home so having everything you need ready is everything now i won't go that far into detail now one thing i didn't put here that i should have put here that probably will be here when you guys see it is having a gmail account having a google account i should have said now this will help you with having your resume having a place for your resume having a place for your cover letter also having a google account it will help you with having an email address so i will have that that here for you guys now just a few having a resume and cover letter is everything now most people don't have cover letters the majority have a resume but if you are that person that has neither here are two places that you can go and i'm gonna have videos coming up next week for you guys about indeed resume builder and earn better now i just click on to them so you guys can see them now this is indeed you can build your resume for free and so this is what this is and this leads to earn better and so it tells you here ai resume and cover letters just everything and this is free also guys but i'm gonna come back over here now making sure you have both of these on hand when filling out a job application makes a lot of things or i won't say a lot of things it will help the process flow a little bit better if that makes sense because just say for instance if you don't have your resume on hand and they ask you for your job experience or your employment history if you upload that resume most companies websites are smart enough to kind of cipher through dig through whatever you put on your resume and they will input it into the fields for you and you won't have as much to fill out now having an email address having a professional sounding email address is everything now this goes back to having a google account if you have a google account that automatically comes with you having your own email address now i will have a video on this too because when you are creating your email address or well, when you are creating your google account it asks you what do you want your email address to be now you want to make sure this because you can have many different google accounts you want to make sure that 
is professional sounding and you use something like your first name last name at email.com or at gmail.com i'll have it in that video for you guys or you want to use your first initial last name or first name last initial and if you can't use that where someone already has it you can put some type of numbers or something like that or it can be something cute you just don't want it to be something like shake that thing or hot girl at that's not professional because a lot of emails a lot of emails a lot of interviews that you go through they will basically ask you what is your email address or is this your email address and having to repeat that back or having them to say that to you and it's something crazy is wild so you won't be embarrassed and they won't be embarrassed just make sure you make one just for working from home and it's professional sounding now having a phone number now if you don't have a cell phone you can always get a google voice number you will just have to send it through someone else's telephone number but once you use their telephone number you can set it up where no calls won't come through now me myself i have a few different google voice numbers i have it for two or three of my businesses and i have one just for calls when i don't want them write it to my cell phone my just for my personal use but you want to make sure that you have a cell phone number or a google voice number a house phone number somewhere that you can put in a proper voicemail so whenever someone calls you they reach their voicemail they either hear the same cliche voicemail or you set up a message just for them calling you just want something nice and sweet and just to the point now you want to be able to accept calls text message and or voicemails after filling out the application now i'm not sure if we clicked on this guys because i had to make this video like two or three times because i missed something so that's the reason why i told you guys about the google i'm not gonna add google here i just not gonna go back at the time but this is indeed resume builder here i'm gonna make a video going over this with you guys for next week so this is indeed resume builder and this is earn better both of these are free it tells you here it say ai resume and cover letters so basically yeah i'm gonna go over all of this for you guys now we're gonna scroll down so i won't hold you guys for long now the application itself you want to make sure that you set aside anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes maybe even like an hour or an hour and a half because you do not want to rush some things to keep in mind do not rush i don't know why people feel like they want to work from home or work anywhere and you want to rush yourself through the application process you can be rushing yourself out of a job don't rush take your time if you don't take your time you're going to be wasting your time because me myself i've worked in human resources i've worked in so many different fields let's just put it like that and I've seen so many applications, so many applications where I can tell that they were rushed. Do not rush the application process, guys. Take your time. This can lead to wrong emails getting put in. You never be contacted. It can lead to you putting the wrong telephone number in and you're never contacted. It can lead to you looking over something or missing a box that you should have checked and you didn't check it or it could lead to you checking a box that you should not have checked. So just don't rush, take your time or you'll be wasting your time. Next one up, don't pay. Don't pay anyone to complete any part of your application, assessment, cover letter or resume. You can do it on your own for free even if you have never worked from home before there are things you can put on your cover letter and on your resume there are so many people out here especially if you guys are on facebook that will 
the person will welcome you into their Facebook group. You will think that they're only doing work from home job. And then they'll post a lot of work from home jobs. And then they'll post the link where you can hit their website and pay them so much to either their cash app or either you can pay them over their website to complete an application for you or the assessment cover letter resume. Now I'm going to tell you guys right now what this leads to because I've seen it so many times. It leads to your application looking like everyone else's and if you hire a service to do this i don't care how many people work for them if you have so many people doing the exact same thing i don't care how many states away you stay from the next person all of your things will look exactly the same and once that company notice they're going to do nothing but put you to the side and put you on that list of do not hire and they in the notes they're going to put why and you're going to be stuck on that list i've did a video in the past where it's somebody that actually wrote back to a candidate and was like your resume and your assessment is just like this other assessment and so we know that there is something going on do not pay anyone to complete assessments application cover letters or resumes for you do it on your own i'm going to be opening up my discord and my discord to this day is already open i can help you guys through that and you do not have to pay anyone. Now, I will not do it for you, but I will show you how to do it. On next week's video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Assessments are there, and I'm gonna go to this. Assessments are there to make sure that they cover things like your computer specs, personality tests, they have some have a spoken portion there can be digital interviews typing tests or speed tests it's only there to get a feel for you so if you don't want to take the time to do it and it comes out just say someone do an assessment for you and also side note it's a 50 50 chance that you may have to do an assessment during your application now that's the only thing that makes the application process a little long if you have to do an assessment during that's the reason why i say pack your patience but if it come up to where you have to do it after you done already submitted the application just make sure you pack your patience now for instance the personality test is there to gauge who you are as a person just say for instance if you went through all of these assessments and it make it look like you top notch you know everything about tech computers and they hire you based on that personality test and when they get you in there you don't know how to do anything guess what's gonna happen they're gonna see there that there's no room for you once you make it through once you make it to training and they see that something is off you're at the door. I've seen companies where they will let you get through the application process. You fill out the assessment, even though they see that someone else's assessment scores look exactly like yours. They'll let you get all the way to the interview phase. And right at the interview phase, that's when they'll tell you to do it over again while you're on the phone with them. And a lot of companies, they will have some type of Zoom meeting or some type of meeting and they will sit there and watch you as you complete your assessment. Do not waste your time in getting people to do it for you or you paying to get it done. Assessments are there to assess you, not the person that's getting paid to do it. Now references some companies will ask for a reference um if you don't have it in those fields just put na where your tele where the telephone number should be if you can't put all zeros put your um telephone number in there and lastly make sure you keep an eye out for all emails calls 
text messages and voicemails. You want to make sure that you are always by your email address or you can have some type of notification. So if a company were to email you um, about interviews and things of that sort, because I know now is the time of year where a lot of companies are hiring and the interviews literally will pop up within the next couple of hours after you fill out the application or within a couple of days. And if you have to schedule an interview where they are not doing digital interviews, you want to make sure you get to that email because it's most of the time it's a first come first serve basis and they'll cut it off after so long. And I know some companies where they'll let anybody you know go up to try to get an interview time and when they have found their candidates they're just basically send you an email letting you know like we have everyone we need at the time so just make sure you stay vigilant of your emails calls voicemails text messages things of that sort but guys that's all i have now i'm gonna come back here i'm gonna add google up here for you guys i'm gonna do the next video I do that's a work from home chat like this is going to be about Indeed resume building and earn better so I can help you guys out with your resume and cover letter. And after that, I'm going to go over and showing you guys how to set up your Gmail account. So I'll see you guys next time. And this link here will be pinned down in the comment section below. And I wedge it somewhere in the description box for you guys. And I also have a new link tree for you guys. So these are all my so these are all my social medias and different things like that up here. This is my Discord. So if you want to join the Discord server, I always and I'll have this pinned in the comments section or I'll just put it in the description box. If you are interested in homeschooling, you can click here because a lot of us work from home moms and dads homeschool so that's there and yeah guys everything else is down here until next time i'll see you guys tomorrow with a work from home job and next week i'll get those other work from home chats in for you guys see you guys then